Hi guys, I'm Alex from Mason Lifestyle. I hope you are all doing well. So guys, I took this whole week to kind of clean up my yard, cut back bushes, and I thought it's time to now focus on the pattern stash, the fabric stash, and of course, some of the clothes that I have made that, um, I don't know, sometimes are we all in denial about, okay, well, the fabric stash is really big, or maybe it's not. Um, and same thing with sometimes we make garments and they just kind of sit there and we don't wear them and we don't wear them because they don't fit anymore, right? Or it's not the style anymore. So I thought that I would do a video and give you 10 tips as to how to tackle um, your fabric and pattern stash and also keeping in mind that not only do this for for your fabric and pattern stash, but also try to tackle some of this for the garments that you have that are either ready to wear, right? Or perhaps something that you made and it's just sitting there for the last five years waiting for you to kind of tackle, tackle this project and perhaps get rid of it. So let me tell you, let me tell you about these. So first one, I would say, I always encourage you to donate things. There's somebody out there that perhaps can use this item more than you do um, and would appreciate it if you did. Think of Goodwill, Salvation Army, or perhaps like a local women's shelter. They might appreciate a gently used um, coat or perhaps a nicely made pair of trousers. So just kind of donate it, let it go. Another one is um, sell it, right? If you don't, perhaps if you don't love it anymore, I do know that I have some fabrics that I look at them and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, what was I thinking with that one, right? Like, I must have been in another, another mindset or maybe I saw it on sale and I'm like, oh, I can't pass that up, right? And it's been sitting here for the last three years and crickets are playing in the background and I'm thinking, I don't think I'm ever going to wear that right? So either either you can sell it on the Stashify, and I know that um, Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery, I know that she does a lot of selling of her items there, but there is also on Instagram, there is a maker's resale, and I will go ahead and list all of these on my blog if you want to click and go out there. So they sell for you, they put a post on an Instagram, I think you might have to pay like a dollar. They put a post for you on Instagram. It could be a garment, it could be yarn, it could be patterns, or it could be fabric that you no longer want. And they put it out there and people say, yes, I would love to buy this. Or, and you get to pick sometimes like who would be the buyer out of 10 people that say, yes, I will pay you 60, 50, 40, $25 for that one item that you no longer want. So this is a way to know that your fabric is going to perhaps another maker. So again, that is Makers Resale, they are on Instagram. And of course, if it is a ready to wear item, you also have Poshmark um, that you can um, sell your item that perhaps again, it's gently used and no longer fits you, right? Or it's not your style and you can just kind of let it go. I know that my sister had moved from Chicago to Miami about a year and a half ago. And she had all these winter clothes, all of these winter boots, just like heavy duty stuff. She just went to Poshmark and started selling away things that she knew that she was never going to um, wear again. Number three, mend it, okay? If... If you still love it and perhaps it's missing a button or it's got a little hole or right, something is kind of like something that you can fix, right? And then go ahead, um, go ahead and, and fix it, right? It's still a good item, perhaps something with like a really nice fabric, right? That you're like, I can't let it go. I got to fix that. Um, my daughter is a lot with that. She has a lot of cardigans, a lot of hoodies. That she absolutely loves she doesn't want to let them go and she says mom can you just can you just fix it can you put this button i lost there's four but i lost two 
and I really want to wear this right now and I said just give it to me of course I will mend it so you can keep using it right number four refashion it and you know I am wearing I'm wearing this Marlowe sweater and this sewing tank from True Bias but this sewing tank used to be um, used to be a sweater that I made for so long and I'll find a picture and I'll put it up so I made this so long and after I made it I'm like you know it's a really pretty sweater and I love the fabric this is from Joann's and it's it's like a I don't even know what it is but it's really nice and I told myself I really don't want to let that fabric go I know I can make something with it so I went ahead and cut up my sweater and made the sewing tank and I'm still wearing it a year a year later so again don't don't forget to refashion something right it's still good you just gotta put in you just gotta put in some time and effort into it which sometimes I mean I get it right I get it you don't want to deal with it you just but sometimes some fabric is worth it so we go back for it toss it okay this is me giving you permission to toss the sweater from high school from 30 years ago that you are still holding on that no longer fits okay and it's got more holes than a swiss cheese okay it's time to let go <laughs> it's time to let go i give you permission go ahead and toss it i know that um i parted ways earlier this week with a pair of closet core pietro pants i think i showed you guys these things were disintegrating it had so many holes the elastic in the back had a bunch of holes i use them to um to work out i have two pairs and i think i need to make another pair just so i can just toss the second pair they have a bunch of holes it's completely discolored it's it's been loved and used but it's now time to let them go so i give you permission to toss it okay um another one adjust it okay um perhaps you gained a little weight it's okay perhaps you lost some weight it's okay that's wonderful you know what? We know how to sew, and especially if you let left yourself some seam allowance, you know that you can undo those seams, right? And fix it and mend it, give yourself a little bit more room, or perhaps now's the time to take it in so you don't fill it up anymore, right? So go ahead and um and adjust it. We know how to do this, you guys right? That's one of the reasons why we sew is to make sure that our clothes fit nicely. Um, so adjust it, okay? Um, store it. Let's say that you have quite the plethora of summer dresses and you know, I'm, I'm here in Chicago, as soon as it starts snowing, it's going to be six months. We go in hibernation here and, and that is that. Perhaps Kind of check everything, make sure that you are happy with every dress, every summer dress, and you know that you are not going to need in the next six months. Fold it really nicely and store it away. You know you are not going to use this anymore. So time to store it away. Um, organize your already made, already made, um, already made items. I know that... I had to kind of really take stock of what I have. I know that there's a new look pattern for a cape that came out. It's inspired from Oscar de la Renta. It's beautiful. I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. But I'm like, wait, wait, didn't I do a cape? Yes, yes, I did. Do I need a second cape? No, no, I don't. They're not real practical. They're real pretty, but they're not real practical. Um. So really kind of take stock of what you have in your closet, organize, right? And organize your fabric stash too. I think sometimes, yeah, we just kind of keep buying and keep buying because, I mean, you're being targeted with sales and, you know, pattern on sale or this on sale. And, I mean, if you, if you are sewing as fast as you are buying, that is awesome. But unfortunately, that is not the case for me. 
So it's good for me to at least once or twice a year kind of pull out all of my fabric and really take a look at it with a, um, a really close eye. This goes too for your remnant. Remember, I did two videos, one for one yard fabric, what things you can do with that, and one for a yard and a half, and what things that you can do with that, right? Really take a look at it. Can you make bias tape? Can you make pockets? Can you make facings with these things? If you cannot, I give you permission. It's okay to throw it away, right? And guys, last one, share it with a friend. I'm gonna tell you this little story because I didn't think that this person would do this, but they did. So I comment on a lot of people's posts on DMs. People are putting their stories. And Marie from Stitch Odyssey, if you follow her, she's out in the United Kingdom. And she sometimes gets a lot of fabric from fabric stores. She has a ton of followers. And she had posted this fabric with little twin cherries. And I wanted to make a dress for my daughter with a fun fabric with twin cherries. I have looked high and mighty for a fabric with tin, twin cherries, okay? I saw the Marie had this fabric because she's like, I have no idea what to do with it. She does a lot of these stashing because she gets a lot of this fabric or she buys too much fabric sometimes and she just realizes and instead of right throwing it away she sells it which kudos to her very smart she has ton of followers so she can do that and I mentioned wow that fabric is really cute I wish I could I could find it here in the states whatnot casually she had asked me um what's your mailing address I gave it to her I didn't think about anything because we follow each other on Peloton, right? She works out, I work out. It's just kind of like a little little partner to work out. I didn't think about it, guys. Well, about a month later, the Twin Cherries fabric appeared in my box. Unexpected. I did not ask for this, right? Didn't ask for this. Well, my daughter got a little dress, a little hack from the Donny shirt and I made her a dress with those, um, that fabric. So number 10, share it with a friend, right? Perhaps you know someone in the sewing community, perhaps maybe someone close, maybe a stranger, something far away, pay it forward, share with a friend. Guys, also organize your patterns. And this one kind of dawned on me this morning. We were on pattern sewing review and somebody's looking for a pattern, a really old pattern, think 25, 30 years ago. And she is like, I found it on Etsy, but it's so overpriced. It's completely out of my budget range. And somebody else says, um, somebody else says, I have it, but I don't want to sell it. That's okay. But are you ever going to make it? I mean, are you ever going to make it or are you waiting <laughs> or are you waiting for the day that you die and your family has a big, a big garage sale and there are all your precious fabric and all your precious um, designer patterns going for a buck. Okay, so either either organize it, sell it, donate it, give it to somebody else okay or use it or make the pattern right i mean just collecting all the stuff guys we can't take it with us you know you can so you might as well do something with it right now and live in the moment and enjoy your hobby all right guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you next time bye